Early instructions from head coach John Aiken of the Stormy Petrels, and we are underway here. On the turf fields in Oglethorpe in Brookhaven. Early whistle from Sergei Demyanchuk, the man in the middle this afternoon. But back at it very, very quickly. Trying to work his way down. Sebastian Molina quickly into the area, knocked away by center. And the Colonels will regroup. Pressure from Oglethorpe. Ryan Roussel working his way through. He's got a lot of gears that he's gone through toward the top of the area, tries to send it in, and it's going to be sent back away by Ethan Harrison wearing 99 this afternoon. Works its way into the middle third, but center coming back away with it. Nafiz Baderi with his first touch on the afternoon. Early pressure from Oglethorpe working from right to left. The pace very, very quick. Felipe Aruju works it back to Ian Farquhar. Over on the far side, Carlos Cavalero with his first touch. Towards center circle. Hayden Binfield getting quality work as a freshman here this season for the Stormy Petrels, the freshman out of Kennesaw Mountain High School. Sending it forward, blocked and knocked away. Jack Shields with a header. Sota Iponji can't control it, and it's going to be a throw for the Stormy Petrels. Shipped all the way back, Josh Labus. The sophomore from North Cobb High School. Working its way through, Javi Martinez tries to send it forward with the right, too much on it as we are a minute and 45 seconds in. And it will be a goal kick for the center colonels. Two of the more vocal coaches here in the SAA, Coach Birch and Coach Aiken. You will definitely be hearing their instructions all afternoon. And the whistle on Javi Martinez. Quick reset there by Baderi. Picked off that time. Sebastian Molina will come down with it. Double team toward the line. He'll lose possession. And center will have the throw. Drew Davidson. Sending it down the near touch line. But... Martinez is there to Lucho Solorzano. Solorzano, the sophomore out of Caracas, Venezuela. Solorzano with possession. Sends it forward with the left, but the center's back line is there. Now work it back the other way with Roussel. Poked away nicely there by Summerell. And Labos will usher it all the way back to Ethan Harrison, but Labus will bring it back outside the area on his own as we're heading toward the sixth minute. Sent in deep, headed by Summerall. Knocked away, and it's going to be a deep throw in the attacking third for the Stormy Petrels. Thought about the long throw twice. Introduces it short this time. Two on one, double team there by center. Nicely done to keep possession from getting any kind of momentum by center. And Labus loses control of it off the throw, off of the high hop, and it's going to be a throw for center college. Davidson, long throw up and over. Backtracking is Hayden Binfield. Back to Harrison, and Harrison will send it long, middle third. Barely touched by Molina. Sent into the woods, and it'll be a throw. Bordering the attacking third this time. Molina comes down with it. Sends it back to Solorzano. Work in the middle with Molina. Tries to chip it forward with the right. Headed back away by Taylor Nelson. Sent away by center, but not all the way out. Javi Martinez. Back to Solorzano. Two-man game working there. Working through traffic. Well done there by Binfield. Tries to come back with possession quickly. A lot of slide tackles trying to regain possession for both sides. Iponji now for center college. A 
lot on that one. Nathan Wilcox had to double back almost to try to keep possession for the Colonels. He has it now, heading toward the attacking third. Roussel cuts into the area, tries to set up his left foot, works with the right, and it just missed the post. Set all the way through with the right, almost made it to the far post and inside. First big chance here in the sixth minute goes to center college. Harrison introduces it quickly. Looking their way up the right channel. But picked away by Center College, looking to turn. Looking their way down the left offensive channel and a bump off, nicely done there by Carlos Cavallaro. Back come the Stormy Petrels. So Lozano loses possession. Center will regain here in center circle. Taylor Nelson. Give to Drew Davidson. The freshman out of Crossville, Tennessee, sends it down the right channel looking into the corner. Who will get there? I'm going to say that it left in a bit of a disagreement there with Roussel, and it looked like Summerow. Things a little chippy early here. Six and a half minutes in. It's going to be a throw for center deep in the attacking third. Taylor Nelson will take, and it looks like he's going to get a big wind up here and a big run to go for a long throw. Try to head it toward the six. A lot of steam on it. That's exactly where he goes all the way through toward the far post. Center comes down with it. Ipungi tries to turn the corner. Big poke blocked away and in center college with the first goal on the board. As we are in the seventh minute, pressure from center goes in and Center College draws first blood. Looks like Baderi is going to get credit for it in the box. Quick poke for Nafiz Baderi, and Baderi stays on top. Gets his third goal of the year. So Baderi working it in for Center College, and the Colonels with the 1 0 advantage. And the top seed's going to have to work from a trailing position here at home. Up and over the top. Equalizer chance there. Poked away and over the bar. Molina charging in from the left. Pressure in return very, very quickly by the Stormy Petrels. Up and over the bar that time by Molina. Whistle by Sergei Demyanchuk here in the middle third. That's going to stick with Center College. So how do the Stormy Petrels respond? That will be the question here. Remember, Center scored four in the semifinal. So that high-powered offense of theirs Gets the first strike here in the final. Ruju late to that. Summerow heads that one off, literally and figuratively. Tries to poke it forward as he was looking for Aruju. Roussel from behind. Javi Martinez couldn't clear, and it's going to be a throw for Center College. Bordering the attacking third. Taylor Nelson, we've already seen once today how far he can really throw that inbound, headed out by Labus that time as it went inside the 18. Guevara 
trying to find a partner, and he does. Charging all the way up is Cavallaro. Poked away by center, but maintaining possession is Oglethorpe here in the 10th minute. Solorzano into the corner looking for Cavallaro. So Lozano first touch, pressured from behind. Guevara tried to send it inside the area, and they're going to call a foul that time. Looks like it's on Cavallaro. Cavallaro on Baderi. So center works it forward. Long left toward the top of the box. Tracked down by Roussel. Roussel, two stormy petrels on him. And they're going to call a foul. On center as Summerall hit the deck. And it's going to be it's going to be a free kick for Oglethorpe here in the 11th minute. Officials trying to make sure that the ball was moved back. Molina loses that joust with Drew Davidson. And they're going to call a foul on Eponji. The correction last touched by Eponji. It's going to be a throw in for the Stormy Petrels. Summerow thought about one direction. Center thought it was a foul throw. Didn't get that call. Baderi toward a punji center circle intercepted by Cavallaro. Javi Martinez gets past his initial duel. Up and over. Taylor Nelson there. Tries to send it forward with the right. He does. But Cavallaro is there. Back heel to keep possession. Here comes Solorzano. So Lozano with possession. Back to Hayden Binfield. Binfield to Labus. And Summer up. The junior out of First Presbyterian Day. Up and over. Nicely done. Headed out. Can't be kept in. And it looks like it's going to be a corner for Oglethorpe. Tried to skip the lines a little bit. Got it inside, just outside the six. So it's going to be a corner. Guevara will take. Try to send it in with the right as Oglethorpe's looking for an equalizer. Guevara, far post, headed away. Looks like it was touched by Taylor Nelson. It'll be a corner on the far side this time. Taylor Nelson, the 6'4 freshman out of Columbia, Maryland, in there to try to make sure that that corner wasn't heading to its intended target. Guevara will do it again. The sophomore out of Cristo Rey in Brookhaven, local product. Guevara working forward. Bit of an outswinger. Labus was there. Tracked down. Trying to get away from all the traffic is Javi Martinez. Sent away by Center College. It will be a throw in the attacking third. Pressure continues by Oglethorpe. Summer out quickly into Molina. Toward the far post, Chip just missed the connection that time with Guevara, and it's going to be a goal kick. Nefez Bideri, the one goal on the board in the seventh minute. A lot of traffic in front of Ethan Harrison. Short range in 1-0. And that's where we are at Pungy. Big switch to Roussel. Gets past Summerow initially. Cuts it back in. Tries to set it to his left. Labus is there. He'll send it away. Jack Shields to Gordonier. Trying it again, Drew Davidson. Baderi 
Looking to drive on Summerow. Sends it in. Knocked away by Labus outside the area. Molina tries to gain control and send it forward. Back once again is Gordon Ear. Toward the top of the area. Knocked away. And it looks like it's going to be a corner on the near side. For Center College. Here in the 16th minute. Roussel toward the top of the six, headed away. Ipongi is there. Big boot with the left. Well done grab. Ethan Harrison, convenient hop, no problem for the freshman out of Marietta. The fourth shot so far for the visitors. Cavalera loses possession, tries to gain it back quickly with pressure. Oglethorpe do. Charging through the middle, Solorzano. Solorzano looking for a partner. Pass had a little too much on it. It ends up in Hayden Corfidge's hands. And Corfidge will send it back in. Roussel. Looking to get on Summerow. Summerow intercepted that idea. Jack Shields is there. He'll regain possession for center. Gordon Ear works it to the back. Solorzano pressuring. Back into the middle in Shields. Sent forward, trying to go all the way over the top, looking for Roussel. Summerow is there, but the pressure from Roussel there in the corner. And they're going to call a foul on Roussel on Summerow. Give to Labus. And Farquhar with his first touch. Cavallero. Shields on him. Sent all the way up over the top. It's going to be an easy grab for Corfidge, and they'll do it all over again from left to right. 28-10 and counting here first half. Center with the first goal on the board. Middle third. Javi Martinez can't quite keep it. Baderi now with it for center. Tries to drive through a lot of the traffic there from Oglethorpe. Solozano is there now. And he'll give to Javi Martinez. Cavallero. to Labus, as Summer out to his left, got some room in front, He'll take advantage of that as center tries to drop back and get settled in, big right and it's going to trickle just wide by Sebastian Molina, picked up by Corfidge, and here comes center again, Davidson, Tries to send it forward to Roussel. Roussel gets past Molina. Big collision with Labus. Stands him up. Last touch by Roussel. Thrown back in quickly by Summer out of Labus again. Nathan Wilcox pressuring. Drops it back to Binfield. Going for the big switch to the near corner. Chested down. Summer out. You heard that collision all the way over here. John Aiken and the coaching staff up very, very quickly. And a yellow card is issued to Ryan Roussel here. In the 18th minute. And your AR is over here talking to the Oglethorpe bench. And here comes Sergei Demyanchuk. To have a couple of words as well. So we'll keep an eye on that yellow card to Roussel as we go here. Summer out taking the wrap off of his left hamstring as Ian Farquhar 
sets up the set piece. The sophomore from Walton High School looking far post, up and over everybody, tracking it down, but too much. Aruju was trying to get there in time to keep it in, but he could not, up and over everybody, so it'll be a goal kick. Taylor Nelson to Drew Davidson and returned. Pressure from Farquhar forces a decision. Solorzano intercepts. Poked forward, but sent away once again by center up and over Ipungi. Cavalero is there for Oglethorpe. Lucho Solorzano loses possession. Well defended by center. Forward by Roussel, and you're going to get a foul on the Stormy Petros. Jack Shields is down. He's trying to gain his steps back here. Here in the 20th minute. Just under 25 and a half in counting here first half. Center chasing after their third conference championship in four years. And their fourth in six. Sent toward the top of the area by center, sent away. But the Colonels once again had possession. The back and forth continues. Farquhar leaves for Solorzano. Sending it into the far corner, tracking it down first was Everett Hauser. Here comes Gordon Neer for center college. Big hop, possession back to Oglethorpe. Molina was not the last to touch it as much as the center college bench would allow you to believe. 24 and a half to go. It's going to be a throw for the Stormy Petrels here. Summerow again. Sends it in toward the edge of the 18. Double team in the corner. Getting out of that jam it was Aruju. Sends it into the area, but sent away by Center College. Labus will leave it for Binfield. Cavalero now. Cavalero looking. Well done there to find Sebastian Molina. Poked away, and here comes Center College again in Jack Shields. Solorzano was there trying to disrupt that. Well done that time by Farquhar. And they're going to call a foul on Shields on Farquhar. So, so Farquhar will slow things down just a bit off of the whistle. After the thought of the quick start, Labus will come forward. Farquhar, line drive, head flick just wide. The chance was there for Oglethorpe. The header just missed on the low driving set piece idea from Farquhar. As we're now under 23 to go here, approaching the halfway point of the first half. Still 1-0 to Center College. Center won the championship here in the conference in 2016, back to back in 18 and 19. Oglethorpe last won it in 2017, who had won it in 2013 before. Bury your champions in 2020. And that gets us to where we are today. Halfway home here in the first half, past the quarter pole overall in the 90 minutes. Goal on the board by center early on has been the difference. Gordon Ear tried to poke it forward. Summerow was there. Defended by Michael Voigt. And the back and forth continues. Oglethorpe with possession. Molina. Drew Davidson is marking him. Tries to turn the corner. Double team dropped away. And they're going to call a foul, I think, on Taylor Nelson. They are. 
so it'll be a set piece just outside the area in between the edge of the 18 and the corner flag. Here are the instructions from center head coach Jeb Birch. Quick discussion on the center piece, on the set piece. Looks like Guevara once again will take. A lot of action working toward the back post. That's where Guevara does it up and over everybody. And it will be a goal kick for Center College. Once again, thanks for accessing us however you are doing so today. Here at GoPetrols.com for the Southern Athletic Association Conference Championship. John Nelson here with you on the campus of Oglethorpe University in Brookhaven. Checking in at the first opportunity will be Dylan Barth, the 5'10 senior out of Louisville. Summer Al was there. Looked like it was last touched by Roussel. Summer Al called for the flick and it wasn't there. Dylan Barth checking in for Jack Shields. Barth on the season. Four goals, six assists. Third leading scorer for the center Colonels. Chested down off the big hop by Solorzano. Worked over to Labus. Solorzano in the middle. Give the summer out. Roussel was closing back to Labus. Nathan Wilcox was closing Labus. Labus goes for the big switch. Chested down. Opportunity sent away that time by Taylor Nelson of center. Back towards center circle. Benfield. Quick action forward. Guevara working with Cavalero over on the far side. Working his way down the right channel, trying to get away from Sota Iponji. Great individual work there, flicked and into the side netting. Aruju with a great piece of imagination there as it came in from Cavalero. But it ends up just shy into the side netting, under 19 to go here in the first half, and it's 1 0. Checking in at the next opportunity, Giancarlo Gonzalez, the 5'8 senior out of Los Angeles, California. for center and he'll be checking in it looks like for Nathan Wilcox the 5'10 senior out of Greenville South Carolina it looks like Logan Yana will be making his first appearance from in the match this afternoon at the next opportunity as well the junior from Woodstock and Woodstock High School spent time at Presbyterian before he was here in Brookhaven Summerow looking to Send it in, looking for Javi Martinez. Martinez, double team, and it's going to be a goal kick, and here come your substitutions. Yana will come in for Aruju. The freshman from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And the substitution, Gonzalez was for Wilcox. Farquhar in the middle. Tries to keep possession. And they call the foul on Gonzalez. Well done there by Farquhar. Farquhar will start things back quickly. Binfield. Solorzano. Farquhar. Summerow with room. Double team quickly on the close. And they're going to call a foul on Summerow. Drew Davidson drawing the foul there. Called by Sergei Demyanchuk. Under 17 to go here first half. Taylor 
Taylor Nelson sending it forward long down the near touch line. Up and over everybody. Labus was there, but so was Ryan Roussel. Getting in the way was Javi Martinez. A lot of action. And they're going to call a foul on Oglethorpe. Trying to restart quickly, too quickly, was Drew Davidson. Derry surveying. Looking to go far post. A lot of real estate on that. Labus heads it away. On the short hop, tried to volley it in. Did not work that time for Gordon Ear. And it's going to be a goal kick for the Storming Petrels of Oglethorpe. Under 15 and a half to go here first half. Sent forward by Labus on the short hop. Well done by Molina to keep. Javi Martinez over to Cavallaro. Cavallaro intercepted by center. Up in the air by Gonzalez. Right there is Ryan Roussel. Sent all the way through. Labus kind of shepherding. And Ethan Harrison will get on top of it quickly. But the pressure is there from center, and it continues, and they're going to call a foul on Roussel. We've got to keep an eye on this now. Roussel with the yellow back in the 18th minute. The 5'10 junior out of Hopkinsville, Kentucky. It's been a true pest today for center. Keeping Oglethorpe in check. Javier Ponte looking to check in for Oglethorpe at the first opportunity. Looks like he'll be coming in for Fernando Guevara. And the pressure from center again creates another turnover. done by Davidson to keep possession. Looking for Roussel. Roussel does nicely to keep it in. Coaching staff for center wanted a foul on Summerow. They're not going to get it. They're going to keep possession down in the corner. Roussel, and they really want a call there. And it looks like Summerow is going to get a yellow now as well. With under 14 to go in the first half. So... 32nd minute, Summerow with a yellow to go with the yellow for Roussel for center. It's going to be a set piece for center just outside the, just outside the 18. A little bit of a discussion by the Colonels. Two in the wall for Oglethorpe. Roussel is a part of that. He will yield. Sent back post. Headed down and in. Taylor Nelson, the 6'4 freshman with the goal. And with 13.36 to go in the first half, it is 2-0 Center College over the top seed Oglethorpe. Goal in the seventh by Baderi in the area. A set piece by center, Taylor oh. Nelson. Luke Giordano also checking in for Oglethorpe. Coming off, it is Guevara and Molina for the Stormy Petrels. Two goals on the board for center. The height advantage for Taylor Nelson, the freshman, 6'4", puts it in the back of the net for the Colonels on the road. Second goal of the year for Nelson. 2-0 to the Colonels. 
You may have heard head coach John Aiken of the Stormy Petrels reminding the, the substitutions coming in to let everybody know, keep your heads up in this situation. Long ball into the near corner, trying to get around was Javier Aponte. And Aponte goes down. And they're calling for the physio on the contact. No card. Apologize for the language there coming from Ethan Harrison. Obviously, the freshman fired up over the situation. Thirteen sixteen to go here. First half. The guests on the board with two. And the three seed Center College, after beating Hendricks, shutting out Sewanee, they have the top seed, Oglethorpe, at home, down two. And Abraham Lopez comes in as a temporary substitution, the junior from the Wesleyan School, here locally. He will come in for Aponte. As the physios look at Aponte. Long throw, looking toward the back post, headed away by center. Possession initially kept by Oglethorpe, poked out. Aiden Binfield loses possession, and here come the Colonels again. Labus having to backtrack, sent in toward the attacking third, trying to go for the slide tackle, but kept by Dylan Barth, and there's Ipongi. Blocked with his ideas, he tried to send it in low into the area. Gonzalez easily grabbed that time by Ethan Harrison. Restarting quickly, Solorzano. Binfield's idea, correction Giordano's idea. It's intercepted by center. Possession kept by Everett Hauser. Badari, Ipongi. Long ball sent in up and over everybody. It's going to be a goal kick to Oglethorpe as we're now under 12 minutes to go here in the first half. Labus to Javi Martinez. Set away with the right, up and over everybody. Kind of got away from Taylor Nelson, swept out via throw in the middle third over on the far side. Owen Tremere, the 5'11 freshman from Columbia, South Carolina, and South Carolina United will be checking in at the next opportunity. Summerow. Pursued by Roussel. Sent in to Javi Martinez. Martinez tries to cut it back. And a foul by Roussel. So it's going to be a set piece. Taken quickly. Summer out. Sends it in looking far post. Up and over. Headed down. And wide. It'll be a goal kick. Under 11 to go here first half. And Tremere will now come in. And Tremere will come in for Roussel. Taylor Nelson trying to work the ball out of the back. Dylan Barth wearing the captain's armband. Ipongi. And a foul and a card. And let's see where the card goes. It's going to go to Cavallaro. Looks that way.
Card to Carlos Cavallaro with under with just over 10 minutes to go here first half. The freshman out of Asheville, North Carolina. So center circle. Will be where Center College will restart things. Take it short, take it quick. Looked like it kind of caught Everett Hauser off guard a little bit with that idea. They maintain possession, sent down the left channel looking for Epungi, knocked away by Cavallaro. But it will be a throw for the Colonels in the attacking third. It looks like Gonzalez will take it for the visitors. Taking the throw, Taylor Nelson. Nine and a half to go first half. Looks like Tuli Morumba will check in for Oglethorpe at the first opportunity. Long throw toward the top of the six. Labus will head it away. Tracking it down. Initially was Tremere. Sent in toward the six again. Knocked away by Oglethorpe. And here comes Cavallaro again. Trying to maintain possession. Trying to send it to himself. Solorzano is there. We're going to get a whistle now. Max Gordonier was not happy with the call. It's going to go to Oglethorpe now with 840 in counting here in the first half. Taken quickly by Binfield. He'll get it in the return. Dylan Barth in pursuit. Giordano tries to touch it and keep it going forward. Cavallaro. Solorzano. Taken down from behind by Gonzalez. Quick start. Labus. Coming up on eight minutes to go first half. Summerow tries to cut it inside. He has to give up possession of the ball. Give to Solorzano. Solorzano trying to go over the top. Headed and it is just wide. Chance was there for Oglethorpe and it was almost 2-1. It was headed up and over. And Morumba will come in for after that opportunity. The fourth shot for the Stormy Petrels here in the first half. Six shots right now for the visitors. Solorzano will take a break. Marumba is in. Marumba, the junior out of Stillwater, Oklahoma. Martinez is there. And that's headed our way. Owen Tremere making sure that we were all paying attention here late in the first half. Going up on the seven-minute mark inside the area and sent away into the woods again. That's going to be a deep throw by Summerow as we're now under seven minutes to go. Long throw by Giordano looking far post. Labus tries to draw a foul inside the area. Doesn't get a whistle. Nothing there. Gonzalez will send it forward by center. Binfield will go all the way back to backtrack. Gonzalez still chasing. Sent away by Ethan Harrison up into the air. Cavallaro was there for the joust with Epungi. Oglethorpe will come away with it. Morumba with his first touch tries to get away from Gonzalez. Good work there in defense by Oglethorpe to try to keep it in their attacking third. It will be a deep throw in their defensive third now for center. Under six minutes to go first half. Rumba with the header. Sent forward by Farquhar. 
Taylor Nelson will send it deep. Labus is there to get in the way. Morumba to Binfield. Binfield looking for Giordano. Help him. Cavallaro now. Help him. He loses possession, but there is Javi Martinez to keep it. Back to Cavallaro, tried to send it to his right. Center College defenders were there, and the Colonels will now have possession. Baderi spinning out of a lot of pressure from Morumba. Tremere will send it forward with the left. Race into the corner. It's Labus and it's Dylan Barth. And it was last touched by center, so it'll be a throw for Oglethorpe. Under five minutes to go now, first half. Summer out quickly with the throw. Give us to Binfield. A lot of room for Hayden Binfield to work forward. Give us to Logan Yano. Giordano. Thought about it. Sends it backward. Cavallaro. Big move. Headed and in. Clearly was Abraham Lopez with the header. Just wide for the Stormy Petrels. Four minutes to go. Another chance for the home team to try to cut into that two-goal margin. Just wide with the header was Abraham Lopez. And it's still 2-0 to center college. Pressure on Baderi. Sent towards center circle. Morumba is there. Farquhar, Javi Martinez looking to turn, sends it in toward the top of the six with the left, and the shot was blocked and sent away by Yano. Sent back in again, headed away, but not all the way out. Pressure is there. Summerall, his idea is blocked. And here comes Cavallaro now. Morumba looking for Cavallaro, and he can't keep it in, so it's going to be a throw by Center College. Pressure was there that time by the Stormy Petrels for a good sustained amount of time, but now we're under three minutes to go here in the first half. Still 2-0. Morumba waits for the second bounce, gets it, tries to send it forward up and over his shoulder. Yano into the middle of Farquhar. Summer out. On a yellow, gets past Tremere. Double team now in the corner. Three center colonels are there. And no foul is called. The Oglethorpe coaching staff wanted it. The players want it. They don't get a whistle. But they do get a corner out of that. Two minutes to go first half. It's going to be a deep throw, not a corner. Giordano tries to send it in toward the top of the six, up and over a couple of folks. Binfield is there for Oglethorpe. Stormy Petrels keeping possession. Javi Martinez, Cavallaro, back in toward the six, just misses Summerall. Picked off by Morumba to keep Shoot. possession. And here comes Center College again. Back and forth continues. Bodies on the turf here at Oglethorpe. No whistle. Dylan Barth wanted one. Didn't get it. Header right on. Easy shot by Yano. Picked up by Hayden Corfidge. Corfidge with the big left. He'll send Tremere forward towards center circle. 70 seconds to go here first half. And Tremere will just send it forward. Up and over looking for Abraham Lopez in the corner. And it's going to go back to center college. Long throw by the Colonels up into the air. Labus defending. 
Gonzalez will come down with it. Pressure from Javi Martinez. Playing advantage. And the ball will go out over on the far side. So it's going to be a quick throw here with 20 seconds. Last chance for Oglethorpe here in the first 45. Summerow calling for it from Benfield. He'll work it up the right channel. Morumba tries to send it forward and getting there just in time was Hayden Corfidge. The late chance looking for Logan Yano. Hayden Corfidge got there first. Goal by Baderi in the seventh. Goal off a set piece to Taylor Nelson in the 32nd. Center coming in with a record of 9, 5, and 3. Oglethorpe at 8, 6, and 1. To get you ready for the second half. Go through some of the numbers here. Cavalero can't keep possession, so that's going to go to center quickly. Shots were 8, 6 to Oglethorpe. Not a lot of shots on net for either side. Center's defense kept Oglethorpe to one shot on net. Three for Center College. Once again, the goals to Gordon here and to Taylor Nelson. Nothing on the board for Oglethorpe as we head toward the second 45 minutes. Yellow cards once again. Reminder, yellow card to Ryan Roussel for Center College and yellows to both uh, Cavallaro and to Summerow in quick succession, two and three minutes. So we'll keep an eye on that as we get into the second 45 minutes. Once again, thanks for hanging out with us here at GoPetrols.com in the first minute into the second half. John Nelson here, hanging out with you in Brookhaven. The winner of this one wins the Southern Athletic Association Championship and early Monday afternoon Eastern time. They will learn their fate in the Division Three tournament who goes where, who the opponents are, and all that. So catch up with NCAAsports.com for all the information that you would need there to find out who will end up in the postseason, where they're heading, and what their travel plans are going to be. Oglethorpe, at the half, listening to head coach John Aiken, basically said that they were going to have to dial up the pressure. So anticipating a lot of that from the Storm and Petrels here in the second 45 minutes as Center College and Jeb Birch probably more than anything set to just straight up defend and make Oglethorpe come to them. Foul on Josh Labus. Two minutes in here to the second half. Setter taking their time. as they're working from right to left here in the second 45 minutes all the way through, and that's going to go to Ethan Harrison. The freshman will pick it up quickly and send it back into Josh Labus as Oglethorpe in their dress blacks will come from left to right. Javi Martinez in the middle. Labus, Ian Farquhar, Hayden Binfield. With a lot of room, yielded by center. Picked off by Eponji. He'll go through the gears. Well done as he was looking for Nathan Wilcox. But Ethan Harrison was there. Working quickly, Javi Martinez. Going back to Logan Yano, who starts the second 45 minutes. Other news was that Javier Aponte was checked out by the physios. He'll be good to go for the second 45 if called upon by John Aiken. Cavallaro gets past it. Pongi. Sergey Demyanchuk calls advantage. You're going to get a foul call there. Looks like the foul was called on Gordon Ear. So, quick restart. Sent in and through a lot of traffic. As Farquhar was trying to get something done at the far post, threw a lot of center college bodies and it's going to be a goal kick for the visitors and Hayden Corfidge. Corfidge the 6'4 senior out of Louisville. Sent forward down the right channel and out touching no one so it's going to go back to Oglethorpe pretty quickly here middle third.
sent forward. Fernando Guevara tries to control it. He can't as it first goes off of his shoulder, and it's going to be another goal kick. Reminding you how we got here, Oglethorpe dispatched the eighth seed Mill Millsap 7-0 in the opening round. Golden goal by Ian Farquhar in the 105th minute. 2-1, Oglethorpe over Birmingham Southern. That got the top seed here. We're gonna get a foul call on Nathan Wilcox. So Lozano wants to start quickly. He does to Cavallaro. Cavallaro screaming down the right-hand channel, sent in, cut back, right toward the top of the six. Center tries to get out of the jam. Javi Martinez was in there trying to get possession back for Oglethorpe. Didn't happen, just sent away. And it's going to be a throw in the middle third for Oglethorpe. Center, the three seed, knocked off Hendricks in the opening round, 2-1. Then had no problem with Swanee, 4-0. And that got them to the championship game. Once again, they're chasing three and four years. Oponji with the interception from Benfield. He has very little support, but he does find it. Wind up and fire and shanked off the outside of the right boot was Nathan Wilcox. And that's going to be a goal kick for the Storming Peaches and Ethan Harrison. Coming up on six minutes gone here in the second 45. Labus. Looking for a partner, ends up finding one, sending it back to Ethan Harrison. Token pressure by center, Cavallaro calling for it. Harrison didn't see him. Benfield, however, does. Cavallaro keeps possession briefly, sending it down. Thought he almost lost it over the touchline. Good slide tackle to win possession back for center college, and he'll just send it forward again. Benfield will watch it go. Come in for the throw. He'll go back to Harrison to restart. Center in there. Road whites, yellow accents, black numerals. Oglethorpe in there, dress blacks with the white numerals. Turned by Solorzano. Picked off by center. Iponji to Gordonier in the middle. Roussel on a yellow card, loses possession. And they're going to call a foul that time on Jack Shields. Sergey Demyanchuk asking Lucho Solorzano to take care of his to take care of his necklace. And now Solorzano has to wait. Oglethorpe playing with 10 until the next opportunity. Guevara. John Aiken screaming for Solorzano to be waved on. They finally allow it. Jeb Birch, of course, on the other side, saying it wasn't long enough. Cavallaro trying to get away from Iponji. Solorzano is off to his left. Goes back to Hayden Benfield. Labus's support. Aiken. John Aiken urging Benfield on because the space was there. Finds Javi Martinez. Martinez to Labus. Javi Martinez. Benfield. Up and over too much. It's going to be a goal kick. Jeb Burt still having the discussion with the Official here on the side with the fourth about the rule book on the substitution and the reintroduction of Lucho Solorzano to the game. And it looks like Tuli Morumba is going to be coming in for Oglethorpe next opportunity for Lucho Solorzano. So we'll keep an eye on that as we're coming up on 36 minutes to go. Two goals on the board for Center College in the first half, and that's where we are. Headed on, off Iponji. Labus on the joust. Second ball, Cavallaro tries to get it away from Gordon Ear, sends it straight up in the air. Solorzano wins that one. 
Trying to get away from Ryan Roussel and Eponji defensively. Turned to his left. Nathan Wilcox was there. Give to Cavallaro. Cavallaro down the right channel. Sends it back to Solorzano. All the way over to Summerhour. And you're going to get a foul there in a set piece just outside the area. Under 35 and a half to go. So let's see what Ian Farquhar has in mind here for Oglethorpe. And Sebastian Molina was fouled. So from about 25. Twenty-five out. Looks like it's a choice between Guevara and Farquhar. Looks like Guevara will take. In with the right. And punched away. Corfidge had it down. Didn't have control of it. But it was cleared away by Center College. Great opportunity for Oglethorpe. And oh, punched over the bar. Great chance there by Oglethorpe on the second tour through. And over the bar, Hayden Corfidge with the big save. Restarted quickly by the Stormy Petrels. Chipped in again. Pressure is on. Headed up into the air. One again by Nelson. Settled. Knocked away by Shields. Pressure now by Oglethorpe with 34 to go. They're going to say last touched by center. Cavallaro with the throw. Maruma for Solorzano. That substitution finally happens. Cavallaro looking for the big throw. Toward the far post. Headed up into the air by Nelson. Settled down and a dribbler picked up by Corfidge pretty easily that time. Sent forward down the right channel by Center College. Nobody there, and it's going to end up heading back to Oglethorpe very quickly. Thrown into Labus. Wilcox. Chasing after Binfield now. Morumba. With a 1-2, and the 2 wasn't there. Morumba, well done physically. It chances there, and the flag is up. Chance was there for Oglethorpe, but the pass happened just a tick too late in the timing. Offside call was almost a chance for 2-1 as we're now coming up on 32 and a half to go. Still 2-0. Another close call for Center College. Nelson sends it forward, not looking, not finding anybody in particular. Epungi has to backtrack. And it was last touched by Epungi. As Guevara was there. Cavallaro. Guevara. All the way over. Summer hour. Molina. Faster, faster. Labus. And Benfield. Benfield with room. Trying to slide into the tackle that time was Jack she or was uh, Nathan Wilcox. Headed up into the air. Crashing was Guevara. Works all the way back out to Summer Hour. Oglethorpe will try it again. Up in the air, Molina. And the joust is there with Marumba and Shields. Getting a lot of center college bodies off deflections. Molina tried to back heel it to continue it forward with Summer Hour, and here comes Center College again. Physical nature, have really picking up here in the first 15 minutes of the second half. And it looks like a yellow card's coming out again from Sergei Demyanchuk. And it looks like it's gonna go to Ian Farquhar. Let's go for it, That's the 
third yellow that has been issued to Oglethorpe today. Summerow and Cavallaro in the first half. Farquhar just now. Pass was wayward. Here comes Cavallaro again. Looking for help and a partner. Sends it back to Binfield. As Gordonier pinned him in. Binfield, the big switch. Well done to Molina. Molina tries to send it all the way through. Deflection was there, picked up by Guevara, looking to set it up on his left. Chipped in by Morumba. Last touched by Molina. It's going to be a goal kick. Corfidge sends it back in, working up the right-hand side. Javi Martinez is there to intercept for Oglethorpe. Stormy Peoples can't keep possession. They're going to call a foul this time on Drew Davidson. It's going to go back to Oglethorpe very quickly. They'll reset. Labus looking for Hayden Binfield. Freshman putting in quality minutes this year for John Aiken. Back to Josh Labus. Labus the sophomore. His pass is wayward. Can't get the summer hour. Center. Tries to keep possession. Labus tried to get in there to interrupt it. Morumba can't be there. It's going to stick with center. Head of steam. Push in the back. Push in the back by Baderi. Going to be last touched by center. So it's going to be restarted quickly that time by Ethan Harrison. Benfield looking for an outlet. Morumba tries to get past Baderi. Summerow cutting through traffic. All the way into the near corner. Three center bodies are there to help defend toward the top of the area. Headed away and just wide again. This time it was Logan Yano. Yano couldn't quite get the flick headed the right direction. Under 28 and a half to go now. And it's still 2-0 Center College. Sent forward by Corfidge. Two on one in the defense. One by Javi Martinez. Cavallaro tries to send it down. Sent back by Everett Hauser. But Derry was a part of the group that tried to keep it for center college. They eventually do send it down into the defend into their attacking third. Benfield is there looking for Labus. Labus with room. Wilcox closing in. Chipped forward into the corner, looking for Logan Yano. Last touch by center, looks like it's going to be. It's going to be a corner kick for the Stormy Petrels. Guevara will take. Coming up on 27 to go. Thought about a quick entry. Going short. Pulls it back. Guevara, header, scramble in front, cleared once and twice, third time on the whiff, fourth time deflected, and it looks like it was last touched by Oglethorpe, and it's going to be a throw for Center College. Checking in for the next chance will be Dylan Barth, the 5'10 senior out of Louisville, and he will check in for Nathan Wilcox. Wilcox, the senior out of Greenville, South Carolina. Labus is there before Barth. Giancarlo Gonzalez will come in at the next opportunity. Apongi tries to send it forward looking for Barth. Summerauer gets there first.
Here comes Center College again. Chipped into the corner by Baderi. Far corner knocked away by Summerhour, but not all the way out. Davidson tries to get the push off to keep possession. He can't do it. Farquhar looking for Cavallaro, chests it down, keeps possession. Well done there. Sent back to Guevara, looking in toward the top of the six. Defended away, and it's going to be a throw for Oglethorpe in the attacking third. Under 25 and a half to go. Quickly put back in. Looking for Guevara. Oglethorpe clearly frustrated now in that near corner. Barth being defended by Binfield. They're going to call a foul on Oglethorpe. Michael Volk wanted to try to start quickly. Guevara wanted to make sure that his defense was set. Jorge Gonzalez set to check in. The next chance. Be the first time we will have seen the freshman from Pace Academy today. And they're going to call a foul on Oglethorpe now. It's going to be a set piece. Waiting for Gonzalez to check in as well for center at the next chance. Everett Hauser. Sent back away by Summer Hour now. 23-45 in counting regulation. Not a lot behind that pass. Almost intercepted by Jack Shields of Center College. Chipped forward by Hauser. And he was looking for Dylan Barth. Physical there. Getting the ball away with the right. Ipungi and the save by Ethan Harrison. Ipungi had the opportunity. Couldn't quite get enough on it. Working its way back down. Oglethorpe quickly. Header, nothing behind it that time by Logan Yano. Couldn't find a teammate sent forward by center into the middle third. Fire wagon change anticipated now by Oglethorpe. Felipe Arujo about to check in. Gavin Duckett about to check in. And also coming in is Luke Giordano. Checking in for Guevara. Summer out checking out. And Luke Giordano also checking in number 25. So three in for John Aiken with 22 and a half to go. Binfield into the middle to Javi Martinez, center circle. Sent forward, looking for Giordano on the overlap. Up into the air, Farquhar. Morumba couldn't quite keep it down for Raouju. A lot of headers being challenged. It goes straight up into the air. Who's going to win this joust? Second bounce, third bounce into the corner. Two center college players are there. And it looks like the Colonels are going to come out of the corner with it. Picked off by Binfield. Cavallaro. Pressure from Ipungi from behind. Binfield flicked the labus. Labus to Molina and returned back to Binfield center circle. Cavallaro, Apongi was there. Baderi couldn't keep possession. Tremere 
Owen Tremere will be set to check back in at the next opportunity for Ipungi. For Center College, Everett Hauser, the junior out of Knoxville and FC Alliance, moves it forward with the left down the left channel into the corner. They can't keep possession. Now we're under 21 to go. Ten shots on the day for the Stormy Petrels. Two here in the second half. Six on the day. So far for Center College. Flick looking for Giordano. Gavin Duckett with his first touches. The freshman out of Midtown High in Atlanta. Sorry, Aruju with the touch. His first touch is of the second half. Second hop, sent forward looking for Giordano. Up in the air. Ian Farquhar is down. It's going to be another set piece. Coming up for Oglethorpe, under 20 to go, down two goals. Two first half goals by the center colonels. And that gets us to where we are. So it looks like Farquhar. Farquhar set to take. Two-man wall for center. Barth and Iponji, and it goes straight into the wall, and it hit Dylan Barth square. He's down. Shot ends up into the arms of Hayden Corfidge. Come on, let's go! And the 5'10 senior captain, he is down right now. That ball went flush right from Ian Farquhar, hit him close range. And the clock is stopped at 19.09. Another opportunity for John Aiken to talk to the Stormy Petrels. Another chance for Jeb Birch to talk to the Center College Colonels. And Dylan Barth trying to gather himself, understandably so, after the force of that Ian Farquhar set piece. Again, remember now that Dylan Barth is up. Center College chasing after their third title in four years here in the conference. Winning back to back in the 18 and 19. Barry winning it last year. Center also won it back in 2016. Oglethorpe your champ in 2017 and 2013. And the clock has restarted. Coming up on 19 to go. Regulation. We'll go ahead and use the R word starting now. Aruju kind of forcing Corfidge's hand a little bit. Header won by Taylor Nelson. Three center college people are there. For one for Oglethorpe, but the Stormy Petrels win possession. Sprint working its way in. Giordano was there. He got cleaned out a little bit. Last touch by center. So it's going to be an attacking third, deep in the attacking third throw for the Stormy Petrels. Looks like Giordano will take the long throw. Sends it in toward the six. Up in the air, headed down, and just trickles wide. Corfidge is there to grab it as it was just rolling with anticipation just to the short side and the short post. Aiden Corfidge picks it up. We've got 18 to go. Ryan Roussel, remember he had a yellow in the first half. He will be checking in at the first opportunity in addition to Owen Tremier. Cavalero tracking it down. Getting there was Dylan Barth for center. 
Cavalero getting in the way, and it's going to be a corner kick coming up on 17 and a half minutes to go now for Center College. So Tremere checking in. Waiting to see who's exiting. Remember what happened on the set piece. Iponji is the substitution. Subst uh, the uh, set piece in the first half set far post. Taylor Nelson was there. Labus is there with the second header. Third header back in toward the six. The back and forth continues. Headed away and now with a head of steam is Aruju. But there to interrupt it was Drew Davidson and sent all the way back down by Everett Hauser. Chipped forward down the left channel, but center is there. Sent all the way back by Jack Shields to Hayden Corfidge. Corfidge can't, can't hit it cleanly, so it'll be a throw in the attacking third over on the far side. For the Stormy Petrels, coming up on 16 minutes to go now, regulation. Giordano is there. And he will go with the long throw again. A lot of action at the top of the box. Giordano sends it in. Swept away after the first two contacts that time by Everett Hauser, and they'll try it all over again. Giordano. Flicked just wide. Another opportunity there, and it's just going to trickle out. It's going to be another goal kick for Center College. Checking in Logan Yano. Yano coming in, Aruju coming out. And the next chance will be Javier Ponte checking back in, the freshman. So Ponte will come in now. Coming in for Sebastian Molina. The freshman out of Perry, Georgia, in Perry High School. Second hop, sent away by Giordano. Last touched by the Colonels, and it's going to be a throw. Once again for Giordano, the freshman out of Peachtree City and the McIntosh Chiefs. Headed up into the air. Settled down by Javi Martinez. Martinez will work it backward, looking for Cavallaro. Barth was there, trying to protect. Martinez is fouled. And Dylan Barth decides to dribble down into the attacking third. Protestations from the coaching staff of Oglethorpe. And all that extra action ended up getting Hayden Binfield a yellow card. So another yellow card. And Sergei Demyanchuk wants to have discussions with, let's see what direction he goes here. Talking to folks at the top of the 18. Looks like it's with Michael Boak of Center College. And Gavin Duckett of the Stormy Petrels. Farquhar sends it in, looking for some height, headed up into the air. Second bounce, shielded by Barth. He'll try to just send it forward to Gonzalez. Last touch by Oglethorpe, called by the AR. Barth on a bit of a run for center. And it was right on spilled, but the second grab is there. Just under 14 to go by Ethan Harrison. Game getting stretch now. Oglethorpe, 14 minutes to go to try to close a two-goal deficit. Duckett sends it in with the left. Corfidge with the grab. And he gets there just before Logan Yano does. Oh, 
Corfidge hangs on to it. Drew Davidson sends it forward. Nipponji to check in at the next opportunity. Offside flag is up. Labus with the throw here in the middle third. Next chance, it'll be a Ponji for Tremere for center. Headed down. Last touch was by Oglethorpe. So it'll be a throw for Center College. Then here's your Sota Iponji substitution for Owen Tremere. Tremere, the freshman out of Columbia, South Carolina. Iponji, the sophomore out of Lexington, Kentucky. Summerow checking in at the next opportunity. They're going to call a foul there on Oglethorpe as Gonzalez was charging through. Coming up on 12 minutes to go. Center. Introduces it. But apparently not on the timeline that was desired by center ref, so they'll do it again. Now we're under 12. Same result. The Dairy playing deeper here in the second half. Tries to send it forward. Marumba was there. And Javi Martinez tries to dribble out of traffic. Last touched by center. Summer hour checking in for Cavallaro. Checking in for Carlos Cavallaro, the freshman out of Asheville. Summer hour, the Junior out of Macon, Georgia. Another Central Georgia product for John Aiken. First Presbyterian Day School from Summerow. Iponji now looking to drive on Morumba. Leaves it back for Baderi. Baderi to Everett Hauser. Forward with the left. Summerow was there. Looking for Giordano. And Farquhar loses possession to Jack Shields. Drew Davidson, sent in, deflected, going in after it, both Giordano and the center college player. Summerow comes out with it, Punji is there to defend. Giordano, off of Hauser, stays in because of the spin, sent up into the air by Hauser, and it will go out into the forest. Giordano with the throw. Working his way down the right channel toward the top of the box. Sent away. Gonzalez was there with Martinez. Summerow gets it away from Barth. Dylan Barth in pursuit. Morumba is there for Oglethorpe. Marumba, center circle, sends it into an open space. Iponji is there. Giordano didn't get there in time, and neither did Guevara. All the way down the other way, Giancarlo Gonzalez. His idea was blocked by Marumba, and it's going to be a deep throw coming up on nine and a half to go. Nathan Wilcox, the 5'10 senior from Greenville. He'll be checking in now. Dylan Barth, the 5'10 senior from Louisville. He is now out. That's going to be a deep throw by Taylor Nelson. Toward the top of the six. Easy grab by Ethan Harrison. Harrison with nine minutes to go. The give to Morumba. Logan Yano looks over his shoulder. Baderi was there. Iponji is closing. Sent forward with the right. Javi Martinez with a head of steam. Trying to get in through three other bodies was Luke Giordano. Nothing happening there. Center College comes away with it. Baderi tries to get past Binfield. No call. 
So Labus will send it forward with the right. Headed up into the air by Taylor Nelson. He whiffs on his first chance. Second chance sent away by Drew Davidson. But Derry now back up. Labus has it. And they're going to call a foul that time. On Gavin Duckett. Eight minutes to go regulation. Sebastian Molina set to check back in at the first chance for the Stormy Petrels. Off of the foul called by Duckett. Michael Vogt, the six-foot senior from Kings Hammer Academy in Wilder, Kentucky, will send it forward. Labus wins the header. Javi Martinez into center circle. Loses possession, but Morumba will grab it. Give to Summer Hour. Summer Hour sends it forward. Molina tries to get through a couple of other center players. Tough defense there by the Colonels over on the far side. They'll come away with it now. Iponji. Slide tackle Morumba to gain possession back. Headed forward and cleared. Morumba is there again. Coming up on seven to go. Up and over. Looking for Guevara. He'll track it down off the outside of the foot, and it'll be a goal kick for Center College. Molina checking in once again. The freshman from Perry. And he's checking in for Luke Giordano. Sent forward by Hayden Corfidge. Labus settled down, sent forward by Guevara. Nelson wins the header. No whistle on the second ball. Baderi sending it to Iponji. Iponji trying to dribble in, sends it in. It goes off of Hayden Benfield. It'll be a corner coming up on six to go. Iponji will take the corner. Opportunities there to play it short. He will not. Sent in. Grabbed, spilled, poked away. And a third goal for center. Through the hands of Ethan Harrison and into the net. It is goal number three for center with 5.42 to go. And they are that far away from getting the SAA championship and heading into the national tournament. Sent in off the corner by Sota Iponji. Ethan Harrison had it, lost it, and then center puts it in the back of the net for goal number three with five and a half to go. And they're that close to becoming Southern Athletic Association champs for the third time in four years here in the conference tournament. Dylan Barth set to check back in at the first chance. Morumba. Summer hour. Sent in, grabbed by Corfidge. Corfidge sends it forward. Goes all the way down. Gonzalez chasing as Labus sent it back to Ethan Harrison. Summer hour now for Oglethorpe. With the left, looking for Duckett, and the flag is up. Four ten and counting in regulation. Three goals on the board for Center College. 
Two in the first half. One a couple of minutes ago. Nine shots on the day for the Colonels. Fourteen shots on the day for the Stormy Petrels. But none of them have gone in the back of the net for the home team. And the top seed sent up and over. And Corfidge will grab on the high hop. Three forty in county. Corfidge sends it long. Header one by center. Big diagonal is there. Iponji double teamed. Binfield chips it forward, and here comes Guevara. Aiden Binfield. Out of Kennesaw Mountain, sends it into the middle, chested down, flicked forward, trying to get there in time. Javier Aponte and Hayden Corfidge will grab that one as well. Sent along again. Header was won by Nathan Wilcox. Give to Iponji. Baderi back to Gordonier. Gordon Ear into the far corner looking for Giancarlo Gonzalez. And the flag is up one more time. Labus at two and a half to go. Binfield. Guevara had his pass interrupted. Back heel picked up. And coming forward, Michael Vogt. Flicked on in the give and go with Nathan Wilcox. Getting there first was Benfield. Vogt with a push in the back. And they're going to call that foul coming up on two minutes to go. Benfield back and forth with Guevara. And Hayden Benfield still feeling the effects of that foul it was called. Coming up on 100 seconds to go. Labus. Chips it forward, up and over the first rush, and out. <laughs> Quick throw by Oglethorpe. And the give to Guevara. Morumba fouled by, Mar by Giancarlo Gonzalez. So it's going to be a set piece opportunity on 75 seconds to go in regulation. Guevara wants to take the set piece. Cavallaro checking in for Oglethorpe. Sent in, cleared out. Headed back inside the area. Volleyballed back out to Labus with a minute to go. Headed down, Baderi. Baderi will send it to Aponji, looking into the near corner. Sprint is there by Cavallaro and Labus. Set away by Guevara. Morumba can't keep possession. Guevara does, sends it in toward the top of the 18, headed down. Gordon Ear was tracking it. 20 seconds to go. Gonzalez was in pursuit. Last chance, knocked away. And John Aiken heading over for the handshake with Jeb Birch. And that will do it. Center College are your Southern Athletic Association champs in 2021.